Hi friends, it's Julia. I want to share my uh, layout share for the month of December. I know I did a video every day, but there's some people who don't like to show up for the videos every day, but they still like to see what I created. So I'm going to go through these pretty quickly. There are 31 layouts, single and double page layouts. This first one is from a page map sketch and it is a two photo layout and you can see I use bits and pieces that I had added into my Christmas stash as well as old and new stuff so lots of fun and if you go back and look under my December playlist you will find each of these layouts I'm going to separate the sketches at this point because these are going into my stash or into my albums this one is a page map sketch as well. So there's that one and it's called Playing Dollies. You can see I use lots of embellishments. Ribbon, washi tape, uh, border pieces, uh, more washi tape, flare, plastic flare. Yeah, lots of fun stuff. There's even some star sequins on there. Layout number three is a two, three photo sketch. And I use three photos on this one. And it is a page map sketch. And you can see one, two, three. I didn't follow the dimensions exactly, but you get the gist. So you can see the star sequins at the top that I added around the clusters. I used a pocket page card. Well, multiple pocket page cards along there. And that embellishment cluster at the bottom, I just love it. Next is a three photo sketch from Page Maps. If y'all can't tell, I like Page Map sketches. <laughs> um, yeah, there's a cluster there, a cluster there, and a cluster there. Now, I did have someone ask me um, if I was going to do a tutorial over making these um, paper pieced embellishments. It is a die that I uh, purchased on clearance from scrapbook generate not scrapbook generations from spellbinders um, but I will show you guys at some point this one is a page map sketch as well and here's what I created now the paper already had the white stars on it and I just went through and added the silver and blue ones love all that sparkle love that I used all my Christmas trees that I had punched out uh, images that I had stamped and colored love that layout i say that a lot because i do i love my layouts this one is a page map sketch it is a four photo sketch with four bands of color down here i changed it a little bit and put three bands of color as in pattern paper and just used three photos used all those pieces that i had i cut out those are old pieces that I had previously die cut out that I added some pattern paper behind. This is layout seven. There is my sketch. It is a two page sketch or a two photo sketch. And this is what I created. Now this one, the background paper did have the Christmas tree already there. I added this sparkly one. added a cluster up here that I hand stitched on. I didn't do a lot of hand stitching on these layouts. I was doing a layout every single day and so I needed to be rapid fire. Um, this is a page map sketch one photo. That totally doesn't look like Christmas does it? Not my Christmas because I'm a traditional very traditional red gold and green um, but I love this. It has clothing in the photo, so I used one of those vellum sticker that is of a sweater that I fussy cut out. I put it on cardstock and fussy cut it out. But I just love how this one turned out. All those strips of washi tape and that silver thread, I love it. This one is also a page map sketch, and it is one photo. And you can see I did some faux stitching I used a pin and my ruler and uh, put on a grid um, layout here. Used a lot of different embellishment pieces as far as 
uh, random word phrases and things. So I feel like I got um, a lot of use out of my stash. This one is a one photo sketch from Page Maps. Love this one. This doesn't necessarily have to be a Christmas photo. I just know that it was taken at Christmas time. So yeah, not necessarily a Christmas standout, but yeah, I know it was taken, the photo was taken at Christmas time, and so the layout works for me. This is one of my favorites. It is an Allison Davis sketch, two photo sketch. I used one photo, and I don't think I showed it, but I went back and I added this tag. Um, after the photos were taken and I think I think it was after the photos were taken um, That's bright and sparkly stars all up and down. I love that. I was able to use all those stars This is layout number 12 also a scrapbook generation two photo sketch And here is what I created I love that band across the center that I was able to get that embellishment piece used up there. These plastic flare I painted with gold paints. They were silver and I just painted the gold paint. Those are a lot of those packages that uh, they were a package sticker on clear uh, background paper and I put them on cardstock and fussy cut them out. This one is an Allison Davis two page sketch. Let me bring that up here. And there it is. So if you have any questions on any of these, there, there is a video for each layout, not necessarily a process video, but there is a video for each one. And I talk you through, I don't show you the, the uh, process with each video, but I talk you through what I did with each one after the fact. This is another Allison Davis three photo sketch. And rather than keep it in this orientation, I turned it sideways to create my layout. So you can see, mine's the uh, sideways version. I love how this one turned out with those big embellishment, just the two big embellishment clusters. Love that. This one is a two-page layout from Allison Davis, again for scrapbook, scrapbook Generation. And this is a pocket page layout, and I think it actually goes like this. Oh, nope, nope, nope. I take that back. It's a bonus three-page. So this is where it starts, and then of course you flip over to that back side. These are not fancy layouts because um, in doing 31 sketches in 31 days it makes for a lot of chaos in your life especially when you've got other things going on these crack me up these are from 2015 and i did the representation of the packages that we got in the mail there's two sitting there I had enough to fill up an entire room this year for 2020. Yeah, with COVID-19 going on, I'm telling you, we did very little in-store shopping. Matter of fact, I think we did none. <laughs> it was all ordered online. This is a page maps two photo or two page layout. And I used tons of snowflakes across the top, silver and white metallic paper, or white foiled paper, I should say. Lots of banner shapes across here. Snow and lights, our home, snow and lights. And then I love these hidden journaling cards. Makes it super fun. I love interactive layouts like that. This one is a single layout from Page Maps. And I used a lot of border strips, leftover border strips. Uh, I used some ribbon on this one, some washi tape. Yeah, different border strips that I had uh, punched out previously. I like how this one turned out. Well, I say that over and over and over again. 
I like how they all turned out. The best part is these will be ready to go into albums. You guys just don't even know how good that makes me feel to know that all of these layouts are done and the photos that I wanted to get scrapbooked are done and I can get them into albums now. Two, uh, two layout sketch from Scrapbook Generation. I love all these border strips, uh, border pieces, um, banner pieces up across the top with all that uh, extra paper. Love these embellishments and clusters and all this stuff. I love the washi tape, using all that washi tape across there. Yeah. All those two by two squares. The title, the Christmas trees, the washi tape. Yeah. This one is another two page layout from Scrapbook Generation. I love these clusters with this thread, the metallic thread. I don't know how well it shows up, but it's there in person. You can, you can really see it. Use a pocket page card there. My little gnomes, I put those on cardstock and fussy cut them out. More Christmas trees in the background. More Christmas trees, another gnome. More of those uh, hexagon stickers and those are three by four pocket page card uh, papers under here that I fussy cut down to make them look like Polaroid frames. This one is a single page layout and it is from Allison Davis for Scrapbook, Ge Scrapbook Generation. And I love being able to use all of these strips of paper and they're all cut into banner shape and having an embellishment cluster with a piece that was fussy cut from a pocket page card just makes me happy. Same down here and this just says hanging out. These are, and I know I've said it, these are not super fancy layouts. This is a one, two, three, four, five, six double page layout and I use one, two, three, four, five photos and may do with a pocket page or a tag there. Um, I have all sorts of ephemera in this main cluster here. That's an image that I had previously stamped. Washi tape. Die cut pieces, fussy cut pieces. Here's the other primary cluster here with all those floral images that are fussy cut. Ornaments on the tree is all it says. And then up here, of course, I have the uh, third embellishment cluster that's nothing compared. These two are primary. That was just an addition because I have the embellishments. This one is a two page layout and this is the one that I, I told you guys in the video that if it were not for the whole speed process of getting all these layouts done I probably would have pulled part of this apart and redone it. I go over it in the video so I won't repeat it here. But as individual pieces, as individual layouts, I like them a lot. I love that I was able to use uh, two different eyelet trims here to give that sparkly look down at the bottom. I used a lot of blue and silver on these to represent my granddaughter's little Elsa dress. Love, 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 love those. Love the photos, not necessarily those layouts. Of all the layouts that I've done, those are my least favorite. This is a two photo layout by Laura Whitaker. This has another hidden journaling spot. Just slides right into that little tag there. This one I used my gold metallic thread. I don't know if that shows up so well there. And I used it down here. And then I used that black bag. I glued the top portion together, but I just cut it down. It's just a piece that our trims came in with our Felicity Jane kit. Uh, lots of little randomness down here. 
This one is a one photo sketch from Laura Whitaker. I love having all of these little bits and pieces um, from different collections, different kits. I love having them all mixed together on layouts. And this is Santa Collections. This one is a two photo sketch from Laura Whitaker. Love the layering up of all the paper and the washi tapes. Um, I love the embellishment clusters. I actually did some sewing by sewing twine around that star on the tag. This one is a three photo sketch by Laura Whitaker. Use more of that silver uh, metallic thread on this one. That's actually a piece that I stamped and colored as is this one. And then that's just a stamped image that I had stamped in a while ago. Used washi tape on this one. Yeah. More of those, another of those flare, plastic flare. Getting that stuff used, um, even if I have leftovers, getting it used uh, makes me feel terrific. I don't know about you guys, but getting it from my stash onto a layout is like the best thing ever. This is a two photo sketch by Laura Whitaker, and I only used one photo. And you can see, um, I have a paper bag here. I didn't glue it together, I forgot. Um, but yeah, I used a photo frame, wood veneer pieces, stickers, uh, more strips of paper going this way. This would have been a really good sketch to use with uh, strips of scrap paper. This one is a single page sketch by Jessica, maybe Francis, somebody. It's a two photo sketch and this is what I created. I really stuck with the sketches pretty much. I didn't go um, way out of my way to create something completely different. Occasionally, I think one time I turned a sketch. Another time I changed it from four strips of pattern paper to three. This is also by Laura Whitaker. Um, I add more, way more embellishments typically than what the sketches call for. Um, I am someone who likes to embellish heavily. That is just my style. This one is also by the same designer. And these are off my Pinterest boards. This is one of my favorites as well. I love it when a layout has floral pieces on it. And then the final one is a um, two page and it was paid content. The sketch was paid content. So I won't show you it, but I will show you what the sketch, what the, what they imagined the layout would look like from the sketch. This is layout number 31. So you can see with all the two pages that I did, um, I have more than 31 pages. So yeah, that's it. That's what I got done with my December stash kit um, that I had put together to create a layout every single day. They were two one and two page sketches and nothing, like I said, nothing um, to break the bank, nothing to, nothing that was overly fussy that couldn't get done in a single month doing a layout a day. Um, I hope this inspired you to get into your stash and pull out some of that older stuff. If you're like me and your stash dates back many years, um, you might have some of the same stuff that I've used on these pages. Um, I did add in a little newer stuff, but the bulk of what I used on my pages was older. So look at that stack of layouts. Is that not incredible? In a single month, that's what I got done. Yeah. All right, guys, I appreciate you being here, and I will see you on the next video. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.